Hey everyone, Dave from Modify here and in this installment of our Modifier mini-series we're going to be looking at the Refraction Modifier, one of my absolute favourites. It's available here on Modify.com, you click on the Effects button here, scroll down to the Refraction section, within here we have an example project and you can enter the project that we're going to be looking at here just by clicking the Try It It's Free button. Let's have a look. Okay, here we are in the main pattern refraction example project from modify.com. Inside this project, we actually have two different examples of refraction used in different ways. The first one is this sort of fluted glass effect over this image of a model and the word refraction in the middle. And if I hide that, open this one. The second is a zigzag pattern refraction effect on some buildings. Um, for this uh, for this walkthrough we're just going to make this one invisible and focus on this model version and if we look inside here and expand this group we actually have two pattern refraction modifiers acting on the project the first one is just uh, operating on the word refraction in the center of the screen so again we've got some text here the word refraction with a pattern refraction over the top uh, just make this group invisible for the rest of this to keep things simple and then we have a pattern refraction below that affecting the foreground which is the image of the model the foreground of the image of the model and then a background and then this pattern refraction is just animating uh, slowly on top the amount of refraction in and out and you'll notice that the pattern refraction isn't affecting the full area of the image and that's because there is a mask applied. So if I hit this mask button here, I can see that there's a rectangle inside this mask, which is controlling which parts of the image gets affected by the modifier. And if I can super quick jump into split view in modify, I can drag around this rectangle, I can resize it, I can even add uh, straight to it if I wish to. Um, to um, add into that mask if I want to. Um, I'm just going to zip back a few stages as well, but this this is um, split view and masking within modify, controlling how you uh, mask a modifier. Okay, let's just close that. Zoom back in here. And we're going to look over now at the properties of a pattern refraction modifier. So like all modifiers and layers within modifier we have opacity controls that control the visibility of it uh, of the uh, modifier or layer and uh, I can scroll down through all of these blend modes to choose how I want the modifier to blend with any layers below. We're going to leave this on replace for the time being and then below that we have our center position which controls um, you know the position of the modifier and below center position we have pattern type. Now this is really cool because I can choose what type of pattern I want to refract anything below by. So we have lenticular, zigzag, waves, circular, square, and flat. And the flat uh, is very similar to square but it has little bevels around the edges of it. So for the rest of this let's set this to waves and then below the type we have rotation. I can just drag this value here and rotate those waves. I can also just drag this slider if I wish. Size controls the gaps between the waves. So if I move these in and out like this, you can see how they're affecting. Below size, we have the amount value. Now it's this that's being animated by this oscillating sine wave. Let's just stop the animation here and if I just drag this manually you'll see how this is affecting the image so from high negative all the way through zero where there's no refraction at all all the way up to 100. Cool let's just leave this I think it was somewhere around here and set play again. Uh, seamless means uh, the the sort of joins between each refraction. You can see that they're uh, quite visible at the moment, these lines. If I bring up this value, it will smooth those out. If we just jump down quickly to the frost property below and bring this down, 
you'll see this even clearer so I can make these lines very visible or we can blend them with a seamless value. Cool. Frost, I've cheated a little bit. Um, we applied a little bit of frost here. This just um, makes that glass look a little bit rougher if you were going for some sort of frosted glass effect in there. Again, if I wanted a bit of say, so create a sort of bubble wrap uh, effect, I can set it circular, set the size down a little bit, and perhaps a little frosty up a bit more to make it look a little bit more like bubble wrap. There we go, cool. Um, so that's frost and dispersion. And that controls the sort of chromatic aberration and uh, the colored light that you're getting bouncing off those refractions. So we can have, it's probably more visible if I set it to something like zigzag. Here we go, you can see that mid values, there's not a lot there, and then up you get lots of color. There we go, cool. We also have presets that are worth looking at, so you can jump very quickly along some presets. There's the frosted waves we were talking about and bubble wrap all programmed there. We will be adding more. Um, so watch this space for more presets soon. Um, worth quickly going over how to add a brand new pattern refraction modifier. If I just make this one invisible, so we've got a blank canvas. I can go up to the command bar and I can type refraction. I can add one in that way. I can delete that. I can also hit this button on the side to show and hide the modifiers if I want to send those. Or that's also accessible by Command Shift K or Control Shift K. Again, I can type what I want to show in there and then hover to preview. The presets are also accessible from there and you just click to add. It's that simple to add a bubble wrap effect. It's also worth mentioning that we do have another excellent example project on modify.com. You can get there by going to the effects page on modify.com, scrolling down to the refraction modifier, clicking on that, and then we have this really cool painting with glass effect. So what this is doing is utilizing masks and vector paths to draw uh, vectors in a mask and applying refraction to it. So it is like painting with sort of um, bubble effect glass, if I play this effect here. How cool is that? So do check that out as well, all available on modify.com. Okay, uh, that was a super quick run through the refraction modifier. Please let us know what you'd like to see next. Would you like more detail? Would you like more example projects? Let us know. We're very happy to tailor this series to whatever you want to see. Please like and subscribe and we'll be back soon with more modifiers. 